So right now, we're in the middle of getting a bunch of permitting stuff done. But I don't think that matters for ramps. You know, the thing is with, with the barracks is I'm a, I'm a huge fan, obviously, but it's just skateboarding. And we're going we're gonna to have everything. We got people who scoot. We got a pro rollerblader. We got, you know, we got people who do everything. And we want to do stuff like grappling hook and then swing down and just you know, we Professor are Archie, Cornucopia, Skate Memorial, and Great American Skater. We We've are, been trying to get a building for this for years. That's right. And before that, I was trying to buy a building and get this built for two or three years. So it's been, trying to get it done has been, you know, a long time coming. Have you seen that park in, uh, I think it's like Oslo or something, where it's two stories, mm -hmm. and there's like a bowl above you? That's mm -hmm. cool. What a story, Mark. And if I had a billion dollars, we'd do a 50-acre skate park. I'd give it a month. That's a couple years away. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call Elon and be like, "Hear me out." Yeah. Does and how will this? Uh, how, how will this help people get to Mars? Trust me, dude. <laughs> oh, if there's gonna be a skate park on the moon, he's the guy building it. <laughs> and we need a moon gravity skate park. Moon park. So, see, after all permitting is done, I'd love to have a drop in. Oh yeah. Oh, that's easy. No problem. <laughs> no it, problem. It, what, do you, what do you like a 13 foot transition? 15 foot transition? It would be too big, you know what I mean? It, it's going to have to be super steep just because of right. your footprint. Exactly. Right? So I don't know if we could actually do it, but one, one thing that could be cool is a channel with, with the door in the middle. Mm -hmm. So you can actually, like, six-foot quarter pipe, go up to some airs over the door and stuff like that. It would be fun. It would be great to get somebody to wall ride it. I know, dude. Know. So maybe, actually, the, the wall right here, that way, if it, it, when it comes out, it's no big deal. I mean, how far out do you need to go for a, for a, a 13, I don't know. For a 13 foot roll-in, you probably need about 17, 18 feet to, okay. with, with zero depth, right? With right. Just we want to wall ride the window. Oh. Facing this way. I mean, maybe we have, actually, I'm, I'm the best stuff, but if we put a pole quarter pipe here, the stage could be in the corner, obviously so that maximizes the deck space without, you know, overbearing on the rest of the space. So a permanent deck that's like... 12, 15 feet, 16 feet deep. We're, we're talking about putting a, a, a bowl quarter pipe section right there, and then that corner becomes a stage. Where are you at with Mungo acceptance? I, I literally don't care. Uh, I'm it on is, the fence. He rollerblades, so he's yeah, I'm like more opportunity in Florida. Yep, yep, yeah, dude, like, I, you gotta have fun. Right. It's so stupid to me that people are like, dude, rollerbladers, uh, scooters. I'm like, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. That's the first rule of skateboarding. There are no rules. The second rule, don't push Mungo. <laughs> Don't mall grab. I don't, I don't, I, none of that matters to me. Like, that, uh, who's that guy uh, who's, who can do, like, tray inward heels and stuff? Jeff did. Uh, Jeff Wan Song. Jeff Wan Song? Yeah. Like, all I ever hear about him is how he's the worst style imaginable. Well, he doesn't catch his tricks, that's right. But he also can't spread his legs out. He stays like an insect, but that's it's all right. He but do he does tray stuff. inward heels down fucking 10 stairs, man. Come on. Yes, but. He's never caught a trick in his life. He uses gravity to his advantage. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like, but then and it's like it's, own, it's, it's, it's a unique thing, for, like, you know. Right, but you know, let's look at the classics. Reynolds obviously catches it and floats down. You know? I, l I love it, but my point is like, man, skateboarding is a thing that you figure out. Yeah, it is. With so if somebody wants to push Mongo, even pushing Mongo for Switch never made sense to me. Swango? Yeah, like you'd see the pros back in the day would push Mongo and then go Switch, and I'm like, well, that's become a stylistic thing now. People are doing it as a throwback. They're like, if you're a real 90s skater, you're going to swan go. You just, so if Richie feels like making a tetrahedron that he wants to not a spin or something and drill a hole into the middle of his board while spinning, we can build that when we feel like building it. Yeah. Well, he's got that whole notebook full of ideas. Yeah, some of them are like the fans. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Get it like a big industrial fans and then launch and get blown in the air. Dude, that was from this one subway grate in Barcelona. The trains would come through, and there was such an updraft that you could actually levitate your board. <laughs> so, Someone's going to go over and go, Whoa, get blown in the air and fall down and get hurt. Dude, there's so much to be done there. Yeah, and they will walk upstairs, and we're going to have the studio right there. Green room right here with drinks and a bar and all that. Kitchen down here. This is going to be a secondary studio for the skate show and other stuff. Uh, that's where we're going to be filming the show, Professor R.J. Cornucopia's Skate McGoran and Great American Skater. Is that what you're going to call it? No, it's a Simpsons joke. And where will I be sleeping? <laughs> uh, and then up top will be, we're going we're gonna to hang from the ceiling, probably right here, a hammock for Richie to sleep in, that he's going to <laughs> monkey bars to. 
I'm more of a depth groveler. Can we get something? He'll go into the ground. The ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like we want our own park. We want to do our own show. We want to do our yeah. own thing. Like, you and know, you're, I love the Bears. You're cool with Bear, right? He's the one who hooked you up with California. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I love the Bears. I, I, I just like. I loved working for free for him. It was great. No, he doesn't like it. Uh, I, I watch it all the time. Um, I just think I'm looking at shows like Dude Perfect, and there's a whole world of regular people who can be introduced to all of this, but it's not going to be done by having a contest where you ask someone to not like, try flip crook, not like, flip out. I walk up to a random person, I'd be like, we're going to do a show. Check it out. 360 flip crooked grind, big flip out. And they're going to go, huh? the hell did you just say to me? If I say, we got a guy in a skateboard jumping through a flaming hoop, they'll be like, dude, so oh, that's why that. vert skating was so much more popular with the average right. person. Because like, you're like, whoa, they're fucking. Until Gator's big right now. Until <laughs> Gator fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what, what happened? Gator? Fuck yeah. What did you do? Ruined vert skating forever. Why? Get, Drugs? Look into it, man. Gator? He killed somebody. Oh, really? And then Tony, I started skating the street. Those videos were fun. Watching he actually went all right on the street. I know, it was yeah. good. Yeah, I watched his old clips, it was great. Man, Barry used to destroy it too, that was fun. Back in the day, I used to watch all those videos. Now it's, oh, did you see Sheckler's new part? I've heard a lot about it. Uh, I, I loved it. He yeah. does, a, he, he does, a, he, it's, uh, he's utilizing a lot of terrain in, so there's like basically massive street Euro gaps. Uh-huh, a lot of toe-in stuff? Yeah, slingshot, Yeah, nice. and I love that because you know, so many video parts are like, can you kick flip crook the 20 stair? Can you tray flip 16? And I'm like, dude, come on, we get it. You're going bigger and bigger. Sheckler did some really big stuff, but it was like kind of off in a different direction. Still big, still like your typical kick flip stuff, but it was, it was fun to watch. He's a kick good flip guy. into like a big bank. I got a lot of time for the Shekelstein. He's always been very kind. 30, uh, 33 and putting out this, this banging part. Well, was, we were, was, um, great. we were, I think we were. He did some really good. Good, good stuff too. We were about 16 and my friend won a competition in Australia to hang out with Sheckler for the day. And we were kids and he still remembers me from that. He's like, oh yeah, your friend won a competition. <laughs> Love the Shecks. Yeah, man. Yeah, my experience with him was like, he was a sweetheart. He is. Yeah. He I'm stoked on his video part. He's like, he's 33 and he put out this banging part with some of the best stuff. Oh my God, His, his, his so hammer, I thought he was gonna die. Yeah, what was it? it? It's like a, it's like. It's off like a. It's right. that high. I, I've seen thumbnails for it. I haven't watched any of it yet. So, it's it's like 25 feet or whatever, 10 foot wall, and then this super steep bank. And he kick he tail drop kick flips into it. And when he falls, he just I, I thought he was. I'm like, holy shit! So Xander is a tail drop kick flip, but the best yep. one ever. The best one ever. Hang on, is it in Encinitas? I don't know. Ah, that one. Yes, that thing is ridiculous. All I know is that when he first he bailed the first one, I'm like, he must have gotten seriously hurt. And then he did it, and I was like. Damn. That thing's fucked. You land into five lanes of traffic. And yep. It's not yep. really possible. And it's super steep. And he yeah. that was so so sick. That's like the main. That's the train station in Encinitas. But I liked seeing a part that wasn't dedicated to. It was going up stuff a lot. Slingshot, launching and doing like these massive thirty foot long backside flips. Sick. He's got good stuff. It's sick. Didn't backside flip Beltaro though, despite his claims to the contrary. I saw you saw the clips though, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know I that know. he was just lying to impress the felt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I back it. He should yeah. have just said, what, he stuck it, right? Did the last person I would lie to about <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, he, he should have just said, I, I put it down, man. That's impressive. Right, right. It's like, I couldn't get it, though. I put it down. And then uh, Houston put it down, but he didn't get it either, right? He said he was doing it as a promise to himself. Like, if I lie to the developer and say man. that I did it, then I have to do it. Nah, no freebies on that one. I like Shackler. Right? Well, El Toro's gone now, so. Is it? Oh, yeah. And his skate stopped to hell. I've been there one time. Yeah, what'd you do? I got to uh, ride up to it. You didn't switch hard from it? I rode up, and then I stopped, and I went, my god. Yeah. <laughs> skated, I think, I, I did one trip where I went around the famous spot. We did, like, skated the Brea 13. And you go into these spots, I'm just like, I look at them, and I'm like, skateboarders are very good at this. Yes. I got like a trip the downhill the running at an angle, 13 stair, and I'm like, I, I can ollie. And then I watched some 10-year-old kid nollie backside flip it, and I was just like, I want to stick to my flat ground kickflips over here. The trick I got on El Toro, when we watched the footage back, I felt like I had desecrated <coughs> a secret object. What did you do? You tell? Just slid down it on my feet. Oh, <laughs> oh that's right. That's right. Desecrated. Well, getting back to what happens in here, it's conceivable to have, have 
a, an open area here where you guys can like make shit all the time, or we like this up against the walls, or flat ground, or whatever games of skate, and still have something, some kind of central fun box kind yeah. of thing here. Like, I mean, there's quite a bit of space in between here. And yeah. the other thing is like, do you want to like? Take one of these, this wall or this wall, and have like a long bank of like quarter pipe and, and bank and shit like that. You know, that you don't move around or yeah. like that just stays there. A whole corner wall. Have a bold corner. Straight up. <coughs> the whole thing be a bold. Well, so we're gonna put a bold corner here because yeah. this is a stage now. Yeah. And so instead of building an extended deck, the natural depth of the corner will give the stage space. For sure. I think bold corner and both these corners. Yeah. Thing. Actually, yeah, and that bold corner turns into a wall ride. Yes. It doesn't need to be 20 feet yes. in that case then. That's a wall ride. It could ride. be like a seven foot or six foot transition. Yeah, we need like a ramped wall situation where you can like go up and back up where But then, it, then maybe it's just six feet, you know. Uh, and it's a wall ride. A bold corner that goes flush with the wall. Do you want enough room for the whole band up yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like drum set in the back. Amps. The bowl corner that blends into the wall right there. Is there enough room to do a bowl corner and a wall? Well, you there, it, basically, you would run the coping right into the wall. Right? Nollie front shove and kick flip were the hardest tricks for me to learn ever. Really? Heel flip one day I could just do. Hmm. Pop shove it's one day I could just do. Kick flip. Kick flip real quick. Kick flips for me were three, four hours non-stop every day for like two weeks. Was your first one on just a deck or did you do it on a board? On a board. Oh, wow. And my first one ever, I landed 90 like this. And I went, ah! mm -hmm. I was so angry. Mine was outside school on a deck on grass and I mobbed it to absolute fuck. Yay! That's not like, it's more like rip tape. We're, they're working up here. You! Take him out, Taylor. <laughs> oh. Swimch. She's on one. <laughs> you! Damn! You! Ah! That's T. Yep. Oh, you're doing body veils. What do you expect's gonna happen? <laughs> you're going for the, the, the cutthroat. Yep. That counts. That counts. I'm the ref. That counts. That counts. It's perfect. Okay. No. I can't sleep tonight. All right. Too much honor. Okay. That's it. Oh, I'm done. Well, of course I have fakey kickflips. The question is, can I do fakey kickflips now? Woo! Okay, so that's SKA. No, that's E. Oh my goodness. Hey! Oh, all right, let's play again. Round two. I'll try to do a switch endo for the, for the hammer, all right? First try. Whoa. That is mental, mate. I'm gonna get that. That's Second well try. Mental. I almost had that one. I'm just finding this out. Wow. 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 Woo. So I learned this because I was trying to do a straight endo flip, end over end. So I went as fast as I could up a six foot bank and I slammed the nose down trying to get it to flip straight end over end. But every time, it wouldn't make it, so I'd late flip it to try and land it. Oh, come oh, on! You bastard! I had it. This is easier than the hang tech, though, I gotta be honest. It looks sick. There we go. Woo! There we go, figured it out. And that's time. That's true. But I'll try one more. So, but it's the best part. Oh! Wow! Yes. Wow! 
the skate park that has open areas, planted areas, the skate park that has open areas. Hell yeah! Firecracker stairs.